Let me tell you something. If she wants to stay trying to be in the army, then she needs to learn to be a man. Literally. Yo, what's up everybody? Tita Das here. Today, I'm gonna be reviewing Mulan, about a girl named Fa Mulan, surprisingly voiced by Ming-Na Wen, who messed up every single lesson to bring honor to her family and to China. But when the Huns, led by their former master Shan Yu, voiced by Miguel Ferrer, starts invading, it's up to Mulan, with Mushu by his side, voiced by Eddie Murphy, who still nails every single lie, not just Shrek in this movie, but movies in general, to stop the Hun army, save China, and bring honor once and for all. Now, I gotta give Disney credit for the animation and cinematography. I don't think that 60s hand-drawn animation could have been this better. They were downright perfection. This comes to show you that a movie's perspective is not just animation, it's experience. A movie has to have a certain plot point during animation, and before you know it, it's a cash grab for moviegoers everywhere. And I mean that for real. Wow! I did not expect animation to be this impressive. They must have worked so hard to put both CGI and hand-drawn elements to put into play. The acting fits for a martial arts, adventure, and comedy drama genre perfectly. Tony Bancroft and Barry Cook directed this movie, and they did awesome. I was completely engaged for the tension and dark segments added into the film. They were emotional, frightening, and epic at the same time. And speaking of Ming-Na Wen, I didn't even know that she would be in this movie. Well, maybe my guess is that Agent Coulson recruited her to help Disney out because they're running out of money and she needs to use her kung fu moves to give a smackdown on every problem that's affecting them by saying much lines for her character as possible, then she and the Disney employees will earn money. Oh, speak of the devil, the character development and articulation feels like they're actually in China. Now I got sucked in to join their adventure. Now let me put some warnings about this movie. Even though it's a G-rated film, it can have some dark and violent segments that could be frightening to sensitive younglings, parents out there. And also, be mindful to your kids about the nudity off-screen and some inappropriate content. They're minor, but still, be mindful about those kinds of stuff. The story was beautiful. It brings moral messages about following your heart, believing in yourself, even if you're not special, which I know you're special, lovely people, and not giving up, and by giving your all, even in troubled times. Believe it or not, in the end, Mulan is a great choice for Disney fans and the whole family as well. It's violent, sure, but it's also lovely, epic, and awesome in any way, shape, or form. So, I rate... Mulan, 5 out of 5 stars. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a big win for sure. The critics were giving completely positive reviews. You'll love it, trust me. So Mulan, have you seen it? If you haven't, you should check it out. I have nothing to say about it. All I have to say is that it's an awesome experience. But if you have, come back and let me know in the comments what you thought about it. Also, if you like this video and you want to see some more, do so to smash that like button below. That will help me out a ton. Also, share that video with your family and friends and favorite it. That's a very good way to show support for that review. But until then, I'll see you next time. And as they say in Chinese, Sai Chao.